Hello friends, welcome to AVR Microcontroller video lecture series. In this video, we are going to discuss pipelining concept of AVR. Now, before we understand the pipelining concept, we need to understand the instruction cycle execution steps by the controller. That means how the microcontroller execute any instruction from the memory. So let us understand this with the illustration. So for example, here, on the right hand side memory has been given and over here the microcontroller cpu is there we have taken rom in which we are going to write the code that code is written in the form of hex code now microcontroller wants to execute each instruction step by step so let us see how it is going to perform that so first of all microcontroller fetch the instruction from the memory then after it decode or process the code so that in this stage it comes to know that exactly what kind of operation it needs to perform for example arithmetic or logical operation after performing that microcontroller will finally do the operation on the operand and it will give the result and that result will be written back into the memory or into the register itself based on which instruction we have used so this is instruction cycle execution step by the microcontroller. Now let us understand the two-stage pipelining concept of AVR. AVR support two-stage pipelining. So before we go into the detail, let us understand what is the pipelining first. So pipelining is nothing but parallel architecture. So microcontroller can perform many tasks parallelly. So this overall speed of the microcontroller will be improved. Before we discuss two-stage pipeline, first let us discuss the non-pipelining concept so that we will be more clear about this pipelining concept. Over here you can see this timeline has been given. So this is nothing but the clock cycle, clock cycle 1, clock cycle 2, clock cycle 3, etc. So some older controller supports non-pipelining architecture. Now let us try to understand first what was the problem in non-pipelining architecture. So first of all, microcontroller fetch the first instruction in T1 stage. Then after in T2 stage, it will execute the first instruction which was fetched in the T1 cycle. Then in the T3 stage, again it will fetch the second instruction. Now in the T4 stage, it will execute the second instruction. Again fetching of third instruction and execution of the third instruction. So here if you notice, in T2 stage, microcontroller cannot do anything except execution of the already fetch instruction number one so here considerable amount of timing will be wasted okay now in place of that if we use pipelining architecture which is supported by our avr microcontroller now let us see what happened inside it so first of all it will fetch the first instruction from the memory it will execute the first instruction in the T2 stage. At the same time, it will also fetch the instruction number 2. So here, microcontroller time will be saved and we can use CPU in a better way. Now in T3 stage, it will execute the instruction number 2 which was fetched in the T2 cycle. Again, at the same time, it is also going to fetch the third instruction in memory. Again, execution of third instruction, fetching of fourth instruction, execution of fourth instruction, fetching of fifth instruction, execution of fifth instruction. So, if we compare this non-pipeline architecture with pipeline architecture, we come to know that in pipeline architecture, due to this parallel architecture, two tasks are performed simultaneously if you see here, there is a fetching of first instruction, execution of first instruction, then again fetching. So in this stage, it cannot execute anything. In this stage, it will execute. So there is a gap of one cycle in between each execution. But if you find over here, there is a fetch, then execute, 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 execute. Means after the first t-state, now in every t-state, we will have the execution of new instruction. So we can say that the latency of this two-stage pipelining architecture is two clock cycle. Now, what is this latency? So, latency is called 
after how many clock cycles the first instruction will be executed so in t1 we fetch the first instruction and in t2 execution of first instruction has been finished so it will take two clock cycle that's why the latency is two now the second concept is throughput so throughput is the number of instructions completed per unit of time so over here you can see there is a one instruction in one cycle okay so as we increase the number of stages here we can see two stages why it is called two stage pipeline because there is a two stages fetch execute fetch execute fetch execute that's why it is called two stage pipeline some controller supports three stage pipeline some supports four stage and some even support five stages so if we keep on increasing the stages then we what what is the advantage that we get we get more parallel architecture so microcontroller will do simultaneous task more efficiently but here remember if we increase the pipelining then it does not reduce the execution time of an instruction but in fact it usually slightly increases the execution time of each instruction due to overhead in the pipeline control because as the stages in the pipelining increases it also include the overhead so let us understand now three stage pipeline which is supported by arm controller so that we can clear about this concept and uh, also the difference between two stage and three stage so in three stage now we have fetching then we have decoding and then we have execution so in two stage we have fetch over here fetch fetch and execute but in three stage pipeline we have decode also so this three stage pipeline work like fetch decode and execution of the first instruction over here fetch fetching of second instruction decoding of second instruction and execution of second instruction so you can have three stages in every timing period or every clock cycle so in three stage latency will be three clock cycle because after the third clock my, my first instruction will be executed that's why the latency will be 3 so that's the advantage of using this pipelining architecture it will overall improve the efficiency of the cpu now single cycle cpu operation in execution phase so as we discuss here there is a execution phase so in this execution what microcontroller will do let us discuss that so in that stage it will read the operand because already cpu has performed the fetched operation now it will read the operand now what what do you mean by operand so every instruction is having two parts operand and opcode so in first stage it will read the operand first so first of all it will be fetch then my cpu will read that operand then in the second stage it will process that operand so that it comes to know that what kind of uh, operation the user will require based on the instruction and finally it will write the result back into the memory or into the register now let us include these three stages in execution phase so the previous figure or previous timing diagram will become like this so over here fetching of first instruction in t1 cycle then execution of first instruction in t2 cycle so in that execution phase it will read process and write it it is about to perform these three stages so parallelly it will also fetch the second instruction now the concept remains in execution of second instruction which is fetch in the t2 cycle so again read process and write so after executing these three steps finally my second instruction will get executed they then again fetching of third operation and the process goes on and on so this is the pipelining concept of avr microcontroller now hope you understand this uh, pipelining concept hope you are clear about this concept still then if you have any query in your mind please write comments into the comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much